I have a molecular model of octane. Octane has eight carbons in a chain and a total of 18 hydrogens. I'm going to go through each and every one of these carbon-carbon bonds in the model and rotate them to put them in their most stable conformation just so we can see what the molecule looks like. If you need more information about stabilities and potential energies of conformations, you can check out my Newman projection videos. This is our molecular model. Let's number the carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each and every one of these carbon-carbon bonds can rotate millions of times a second at room temperature. That means this molecule is just constantly changing shape. These shapes are called conformations. Each bond spends most of its time in the most stable conformation. Think of molecules as being lazy. They have to put energy into being in an unstable conformation. They don't want to do that. The most stable conformation is the one with the least amount of steric hindrance. The outermost part of atoms is where electrons orbit. Those electrons repulse each other. Molecules want to be in a conformation where atoms are as stretched out as possible. So if atoms are too close to each other, that's steric hindrance. That makes them unhappy. I'm going to start rotating bonds to their most stable conformation. So I'm aligning carbons 1 and 2 along the line of sight. So carbon 1 is in front, 2 is behind it. I'm rotating the bond between carbons 1 and 2 to a staggered conformation. So the groups attached to carbon 1 and the groups attached to carbon 2 are as far apart from each other as they can be. Now let's do the same for carbons 2 and 3. Aligning carbons 2 and 3 along our line of sight. I need to put this into a staggered conformation but a specific type of staggered conformation called an anti-conformation. So the two largest groups on carbons 2 and 3 have a 180 degree dihedral angle. So this carbon and this carbon along our line of sight is a 180 degree angle. We need to do that for all of these bonds. So this was carbons 2 and 3. Now let's align carbons 3 and 4. Same. Align this to a 180 degree dihedral angle. Next, carbons 4 and 5. 4 is in the front, 5 is in the back. We need to rotate that bond for our anti-conformation. Aligning 5 and 6. This is carbon 5, carbon 6. Rotating the bond between 5 and 6 to the anti-conformation. Now 6 and 7. This is carbon 6. Carbon 7 is behind it. Rotating to the anti-conformation. And finally 7 and 8. This is 7. This is 8. We need a staggered conformation. So let's see what this looks like. Our most stable conformation of octane is a zigzag. This is going to be true of all alkanes. Their most stable conformation is a zigzag. My next video is going to be about drawing line structures, also called skeletal structures. The zigzag shape of the most stable conformation of an alkane is the basis for the zigzag shape of line structures. Thanks for watching Chemistry in a Nutshell. If you feel that I've earned it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel.